I'm back from Ireland and I want to tell you about it. Five of us, Kate, Jan, Matt, Jenny, and myself, we decided to go to Ireland because we found out that it was on Jan's bucket list. And since none of us has ever been there before, we were like, yeah, let's go. Okay, so we landed in Dublin and we stayed in the Temple Bar area. And our place was actually right above the legendary Temple Bar. Great spot. Tons of people, tons of things to do, and of course, tons of pubs. If you're not into crowds or touristy vibes, you might want to stay somewhere else, but if you're into having fun, you're in the right place. First stop on the trip was the Book of Kells library tour at Trinity College. Before anything, that campus is beautiful. The buildings, the architecture, just the whole layout. Even if you're not a bookworm, you need to make your way over to that campus. It's stunning. Okay, so the tour starts and we're getting all this information about the Book of Kells. I learned so much that I can't even remember anything about it. <laughs> the highlight was that we got to see the real Book of Kells. It was in a glass case next to a security guard and we couldn't take pictures or footage of it. So I made an exact replica for you to see. Then we moved to the long room and Jenny's a huge fan of libraries, so she was stoked and rightfully so because this place was awesome. It had these tall floor to ceiling bookshelves filled with all the beautiful books. This one long aisle lined with these beautiful marble statues. This room, this library uh, was very awesome. I know this is gonna make me sound pretty millennial, but I did feel like I was in Harry Potter. How could I be so stupid? Same vibes. We're still in Dublin at this point, so we could not pass up the Guinness factory tour. It was a self-guided tour and we were bobbing and weaving through the different sections. It also got a lesson on how to properly drink a Guinness. After you swallow, exhale through your nose. One, two, three. Slancha! We paid a little bit extra for the Stouty package. selfie beer we ended the tour on the top floor it had these massive windows all the way around with killer views of Dublin and yeah you can bet we had one more for the road this day on the trip we're getting out of Dublin and we're going to see some castles we take a three-hour bus trip down to County Cork and along the way we stop at the Rock of Cashel aka my first ever castle Massive stone walls, tall ceilings, it was perched up on a hill. It was cool, it was kind of exactly what I was picturing. Next up was the Blarney Castle, the main castle. I was stoked. As we waited in line, Kate started going downhill and eventually had to bow out. I stayed in line and forged ahead, tackling the creepiest, scariest, tightest staircase I've ever been in. I finally reached the top of the castle. I take in these beautiful views. And now it's go time. 
I'm now laying on my back. I'm holding these two railings. This man is assisting me. I lean back and I kiss the Blarney Stone. <laughs> now I officially have the gift of gab. <sighs> no big deal. <laughs> Finding my family afterwards, I learned while I was up top, getting the gift of gab, Kate, she got the gift of food poisoning. Not ideal, especially with a three hour bus ride ahead. You know that famous Michael Jordan flu game? And after the whistle, Jordan on the bench looking absolutely ill, and I'm not talking ill as in good. Well, this became Kate's flu game. She really had to dig deep and power through this bus ride. And she did, it was a rough ride. We're leaving Dublin, we hop on a train, and we're headed to Galway. The trains here, they're fantastic. Comfy seats, tables in the middle, futuristic bathrooms, and they have a snack cart. Everyone got to relax and enjoy the views. If you're going to Ireland and you're worried about driving, take the trains. We booked a combo Aran Islands Cliffs of Moher tour, and it started off with the sea portion. Despite the heavy rain, we all hopped on this ferry and went to the island. And this ferry was terrifying. Heavy rain, heavy fog, and these waves, I swear to God, were taller than our boat. But we somehow made it. It's raining cats and dogs. It's also Kate's birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> After exploring a little bit in the rain, we just posted up at this pub, had some food, and dried off. <laughs> Heading back on the ferry, the rain stopped, but the waters were still pretty choppy. A special shout out to Matt, who braved the waves and really took one for the team. Stop doing that. Moving on to the next part of our tour, we hop back on the bus. Matt tells our tour guide that it's Kate's birthday. The whole bus joins in and sings happy birthday to Kate. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to We continue on and reach the Cliffs of Moher, and despite the off and on rain that has been happening all day, we catch a little bit of a break and make our way up to the top. Amazing. If you have the chance, I would totally go. The views were stunning. Seeing the water crash into the bottom of the cliffs was really cool. It was definitely a cool experience and something I will never forget. Later that night, we celebrated Kate's birthday, called it an early night, and we all lived heavily ever after. Just kidding, I got food poisoning just in time for a three hour train ride back to Dublin. You know that famous Michael Jordan flu game? And after the whistle, Jordan on the bench looking absolutely ill, and I'm not talking ill as in good. This was my flu game. It was rough. Last leg of the trip, we hopped the train, went to Belfast. We were excited to see the city. We kept it pretty chill. hotel made it super easy for us to walk around, explore, and shop. Oh, we saw a ton of different murals and different art pieces throughout the area. A 
pleasant surprise. I think our favorite thing in Belfast was the Titanic Museum. We kicked off the tour by exploring the SS Nomadic. This ship was built at the same time as the Titanic, same materials, same vibes. Zoot, this is for second class passage, you cannot be in here, off with you. It was a little eerie, but super fascinating. Then the museum itself. First things first, that building, stun it. We entered, we got a ton of information. We learned about how important the Titanic was to the city of Belfast, the passenger experience, details on the sinking, and then the aftermath that followed. It was a great tour. They covered everything and they weaved it together in a very, very respectful way. Our last stop in Belfast, this is what Kate was most excited for. John Long's, a hundred plus year old fish and chip joint. Not to be confused with Long John Silver's. This place had great vibes, a cool building, and from what I heard, pretty good fish and chips. I went with the chicken strips. But the real highlight, the fact that famous celebrity and Academy Award winner, Brendan Fraser, has also died at John Long's. How about that? What a way to end the trip. Ireland was incredible. I know that this was a bucket list trip to see the country. I think the real magic in this trip was the experiences that we had together turning into forever memories. It was a fantastic trip and I'm super grateful that we were able to go. If you're on the fence about going to Ireland, I say do it. And I'll give you two tips that'll guarantee that you have a great time. Tip number one, when you're in Ireland, you gotta have a Guinness at least once. So when you order the Guinness, make sure you play the Guinness challenge game. To play, you drink your Guinness until the foam falls between the top of the G and the bottom of the heart. It's gonna look a little something like this. Cheers. Keep going. I'm just a little too low in case it's just a little yeah. too high. Matt, you nailed Matt, it. you got perfect. Great game, very fun. I knew I could play it. Age restrictions apply. 21 plus in the US, 18 plus in Ireland. Please drink responsibly. Tip number two, don't get food poisoning. <laughs>